hi everyone glad to see you here once again does hard work really reward and have you heard of the expression no pain no gain well in today's video pastor Mesa Otabo talks about how hard work pays and how we should all be builders please do well to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel and also give this video a thumbs up keep watching this week at words of wisdom from the book of Proverbs. And we are learning uh, valuable lessons on how to construct and conduct our lives profitably. So we are looking at Proverbs chapter 14, and we're now looking at verse number four. Where no oxen are, the trough is clean, but much increase comes by the strength of an ox. Everyone who has gone to the gym to work out, whether to lose weight or to build up muscle, might have come to across the phrase, no pain, no gain. If you want to uh, benefit from what you are in the gym for, you're going to suffer something. You're going to suffer for it. You're going to work hard. You're going to have muscle aches. Uh, lactic acid is going to build up in your muscles, and you have some pain. But that's how you get your gain. That's what this proverb is all about and it's built around the concept of an ox and its benefit to a farmer. In ancient days, the ox was the most reliable source of strength, of energy for the work of the farmer. The ox will help the farmer to plow his land so he can grow the seed and even when it comes to harvest time, the ox will help to carry the harvest. So the ox was the machine, was very important to the farmer and the farmer who has an ox has an advantage over the one who has no ox. However, taking care of the ox was a very difficult process. So if you wanted to take care of your ox, first the ox eat a lot. So the, the trough is, is where you put the food of the ox and, and it will eat a lot. And then because they eat a lot, they also have a lot of waste to give away. So uh, if you took care of an ox, you're going to always be feeding it and always be cleaning after the ox. So the proverb says that the one who has no ox, his trough is clean. The trough is where the food is. It's clean. There's no problem. But if you really want strength, it's going to come from the ox. So you're making a choice. I want the strength of the ox. And I have to also learn to take care of the discomfort that comes with owning an ox. No pain no gain. So in reality, nobody likes cleaning after uh, an ox, the field. Nobody wants to work so hard to feed a system, but that's what is required to build it. And that's what life is all about. The things that we want to gain in life come with some work, come with some discomfort, come with some effort. Whether if you want to build a good marriage, it's going to come with a lot of pain, a lot of compromise, a lot of working through your problems, a lot of forgiveness. If you want to build a company, it's going to come through hard work. There will be times you don't sleep. If you want to progress in your career, it's going to come with study and, and a lot of work. Everything. You want to be a good footballer, you're going to train very hard. You want to be a boxer, you're going to train very hard. Nothing good comes easy. You want the strength of the ox, then you're going to clean after the ox, and you're going to also feed the ox. So, life is all about pains and gains. That's what this proverb is teaching us. It's about work and benefit. It's about hard work and gain. And if you don't want the hard work, then you're not going to get the benefit that comes from it. And each one of us, every day, will have to be called upon to feed our ox, to clean after the ox, so that we can benefit from its strength and we can allow it to plow for us and handle our harvest. So consider all the things that you are involved in. Look at all the hard work is, that is required and think of the benefit that comes from it. And so bear the pain, be gracious in bearing the pain, because there will be gain in the end. At with Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. The wise woman builds her house, but the foolish 
pulls it down with her hands. So the passage or the proverb is talking about uh, builders and destroyers. And although the focus is on a woman, the general lesson application is for both men and women. And it's also for young people. It's talking about people who build and people who destroy. So the first thing uh, we learn is that the wise people build things. The wise woman builds. The wise man builds. It's so hard to build things. It takes a lot of effort to build anything, whether you're building your life or building your home or building a career, building whatever you're building. It takes a lot of effort. And frequently in the Bible, people who build are described as wise people. And the building here goes beyond just the physical act of putting a building materials together. It's also talking about the nurturing, the care, the effort it takes to build something. Because building is not just putting things up, but also maintaining what you have put up. It's very easy for a person to start something, but difficult to keep it working. It's, it's like marriage, very easy to get married, very easy to have a wedding, but difficult, takes wisdom to build it, to make it work, to sustain it, to maintain it. A building, whatever we do, the beginning is easy, but the building process is also a maintenance process. So a wise person doesn't just start building things, but maintains what they have built. And if we consider ourselves wise, then whatever we start doing, whatever we build, we must ensure that it is maintained. The passage says that the foolish person pulls down everything with her hands. It's very easy to tear things down. The easiest thing to do is to demolish something. Have you seen a demolishing exercise when a building is being demolished? A building that I've taken probably uh, six months or one year or a few more years uh, to be built uh, in 30 minutes will be demolished uh, and, and brought down because it's so easy to tear down. And that's why it's so easy to fight people, to criticize people, to destroy people. That's the easiest part in life, to sit apart, to sit aside, watch what people are doing, the effort they are making, and just tear it down. So, the same thing. It takes a day to have a glamorous wedding, but it's so easy to tear everything down. So, what kind of a person are you? Are you a builder? or you are a destroyer. And, and that's a choice we have to make. But the one that God commends to us is that we must be builders. So ensure that every day of your life, you're building something. You're building your life. You're building your work. You're building your family. You're building things. And don't just build them, but maintain what you have built so that what you have built keeps standing year after year after year after year after year. And that's what God calls us to be, to be wise people who build things and not foolish people who tear down everything we have built. May the Lord give us the grace to be builders of lives and builders of good things. If you really want to be successful, the first element is hard work. Nothing is free. If you want to pass your exam, you have to study hard. If you want to have a successful marriage, you have to work on yourself. If you want to build a successful business, it comes with hard work, determination, consistency, and many more. There is no successful footballer, boxer, or athlete who does not train very hard. Nothing good comes easy. Life is full of pain and gain, work and benefit. Lastly, if you don't want to work hard, don't expect any success in any of your endeavors. We believe you have been working hard, but we encourage you to work harder. Thank you so much for your time. Please do well to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also do well to leave your comments down in the comment section below. Share this video with as many friends and family as possible. Stay positive.